Hello everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the iPhone 16 and compare it against the iPhone 12 Pro Max and see which particular iPhone is a better one for you. Now, the thing I would definitely tell you about both these phones is that in almost every single way you can imagine, the iPhone 16 is probably going to be the better option for the everyday average person. Like if I'm going to go ahead and recommend a phone to people, it's probably gonna be the iPhone 16, right? But the iPhone 12 Pro Max was a you know $1,000 flagship or a $1,000 plus flagship not too long ago, like four years ago. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how both these compare. Now, if you wanna pick up either one of these phones, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the exact same time. Now, starting off with the outside of both these particular devices, the iPhone 12 Pro Max, which came out back in 2020, on the front side of this particular device is giving you a you know, very, very large 6.7 inch Super Retina XDR display. Now a panel like this, in my personal opinion, looks very good and it's a very sharp panel as well. Like if you're going to go through and like pick up a phone, these types of panels and these types of phones are pretty much going to look good for a long duration of time. Now they don't get the brightest and they're basically stuck at 60 hertz, but they're good panels and you know, I, I do think they were nice, right? You're getting the notch up top, it's a big size phone as well. And this was one of the bigger selling points of this phone was the size, right? You know, these types of phones that are, that are the biggest are Apple's, you know, most expensive devices. So that is, you know, that is kind of a big thing to keep in mind with these types of phones. With the iPhone 16, on the other hand, this phone is giving you a smaller sized 6.1 inch Super Retina XDR OLED display. So with the phone, like the iPhone you know, 16, this phone is smaller and it's still 60 Hertz, but it is a brighter panel and it does actually give you, you know, a, you know, dynamic island, which is a very nice thing to have here. So if you're looking at phones that are probably going to be giving you a little bit of a better experience, it's hard to like look at something like the iPhone 16 and imagine that it's probably going to be a worse experience. Like that's not going to be the case. This phone is probably going to be giving you the overall better experience than the iPhone 12 Pro Max when it comes down to it. So from that side, that kind of is a big thing to keep in mind there. Now on top of that, another very big thing to keep in mind here too, is the fact that they're both kind of like, you know, fairly modern feeling, like they're both giving you flat sides, which is really nice. A big difference is the iPhone 16 is giving you a USB type C port, where the iPhone 12 Pro Max is giving you lightning. USB type C is a very, very nice thing to have, and I love it so much. Unfortunately, the iPhone 12 Pro Max is giving us lightning, which for a lot of people, lightning is still good and it's still fine. But if you're trying to go through, like I said before, and get the phone for the best quality and everything, you know, the iPhone 16 with that USB Type-C port is probably going to be giving you the overall better experience. Now, on top of that, another big thing to keep in mind here too, is that they're both giving you frosted glass backs. So this is in and of itself another really nice thing going on for both these phones as well. Like once again, if you're wanting the phone that's probably going to be giving you the overall better feeling, you know, both are gonna be at least giving you frosted glass backs, which again is a very nice thing to have here. Now on top of those things, you're basically still maintaining things like a dual camera setup on the 16, triple camera setup on the 12 Pro Max, MagSafe capability on the back of both of them, wireless charging and IP certification on both as well. So there is still a lot of good stuff going on for these types of phones, which is really nice. But as always, it's interesting, the 12 Pro Max probably feels more premium, but the iPhone 16 probably is the one that has more functional features on the outside, like the dynamic island and USB Type-C. Now on top of that, from you know the price tag standpoint, the iPhone 16 is basically costing $799 in the brand new market, whereas with something like the iPhone 12 Pro Max, you can only really buy it in the used market right now. So if you are wanting a phone that's probably going to be giving you the overall better experience here, with something like the iPhone 12 Pro Max, it is going to be a cheaper phone overall than something like the iPhone 16. So, you know, this is probably one of those bigger things to keep in mind here too. But as always, it's not the but as always, it's not the biggest deal in the world. If you're going to go through and use either one of these phones, like, you know, from a price tag standpoint, it might be worth it to spend more money for something like an iPhone, you know, 16 than the 12 Pro Max. Now, when it comes down to the whole entire camera capability here, like I said before, the iPhone 16 is basically giving you that dual camera setup, so a wide and an ultra wide camera, but the iPhone 12 Pro Max is giving you basically just a dual, it's giving you a 12 triple camera setup, a wide, ultra wide, and telephoto camera. Now, both can give you 4K 60 on the front of the back, but a very big thing to keep in mind here is that the iPhone you know, 12 Pro Max, although it is giving you that you know triple camera setup and you have that dedicated telephoto lens, Basically, that telephoto lens is only giving you 2.5x zoom, where the iPhone 16 zooming in is basically giving you 2x zoom. So this is a pretty big thing to kind of keep in mind here as well. Like if you are wanting the phone that's going to be giving you the better experience here, the iPhone 12 Pro Max is only going to be giving you like a slightly better experience. So I think that in and of itself is a very big thing to keep in mind. And if you're going to go through and pick up a phone, I love being able to go through and buy a phone like an iPhone 16 that even though it doesn't have a dedicated telephoto lens, it still is a very, very good looking lens for the most part. 
So that right there, once again, is another very solid thing to keep in mind. Both are giving you 4K60 on the front. The iPhone 16 is still giving you things like cinematic mode, you know, macro photography, spatial photos and videos, and newer photographic styles. That's some really big stuff to keep in mind there too. So when it comes down to that side, that kind of covers it up there for the most part as well. Now on top of that, another very big thing to keep in mind here too, is that the iPhone 16 Pro Max, or the iPhone 16, not the 16 Pro Max, the iPhone 16, is probably going to be an iPhone that's going to last longer overall than the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So if you're wanting the phone that's going to be a longer lasting phone here, it probably is going to be the iPhone 16. Both are still supported with software, which is amazing. So if you're going to go through and pick up a phone, the iPhone 12 Pro Max is still here. It's not really going anywhere anytime soon, I don't think so. So that is a really nice thing. You can basically go buy a phone like an iPhone you know, 12 Pro Max and still get a phone that's still going to be supported with software, which is nice. But if you are wanting the phone that's going to be a longer lasting phone here, it probably is going to be the iPhone 16 almost in every single way you can imagine. So that right there is a very big thing, right? I like something like the iPhone you know, 12 Pro Max from that particular perspective. And I like the iPhone 16 a lot because of that too. So once again, kind of keep that in mind. But if you're going to want the longer lasting phone, it's probably going to be the iPhone. You know, it's going to be the iPhone 16. From a battery life perspective, another big thing going on here too is that the iPhone you know, 12 Pro Max was rated to give you 20 hours of video playback where the iPhone 16 is giving you 22 hours of video playback as well. So that right there is a very big thing too. Like if you're wanting the phone that's going to be giving you the overall better performing device, in some ways it's probably going to be the iPhone 12. So in most ways it's probably going to be the iPhone 16, not the iPhone 12. So that right there is another very big thing to keep in mind here too. And when I'm looking at these types of devices, I love these types of phones for giving us this type of capability. From a performance side, these phones are slightly a little bit different as well. So the iPhone 12 Pro Max was giving you that Apple A14 Bionic chip, where the iPhone 16 is giving you that Apple A18 chip. So this right there, once again, another very big thing, like if you're going to go through and like pick up a phone, the iPhone 16 is going to be the one that's probably, once again, going to be giving you the overall bad experience here from that particular side as well. So I personally do like getting these types of phones because they're going to be very solid from a performance perspective, but the iPhone 16 probably without a doubt is going to be the iPhone here that's going to be the overall better performing device when it comes down to it. So once again, personally for me, I like being able to go through and have a phone like the iPhone 16. That's going to be the faster one here too. So overall, to kind of sum up this whole entire video and to kind of wrap these things up, the iPhone 16 is probably going to be the overall better performing device in almost every single way. Better cameras, better performance, Apple intelligence, performance, I already mentioned performance, longer lasting phone, better battery life. There's a lot of benefits of buying something like an iPhone 16. Really the only few things I can think about the 12 Pro Max of being better in is probably when it comes down to maybe like build quality, like it feels like a better, more expensive phone. You're also getting a cheaper phone there, which is a really nice thing, like being able to buy a phone like that that's cheaper. That also is like another really nice thing. Otherwise though, I do think for the everyday average person, please go buy an iPhone 16, but you don't even have to go buy the iPhone 16. You can buy something like an iPhone you know, 13 and still get a really good performing device. You can buy an iPhone 14 and get a really good performing device too. So you don't only have to just go and swing for the most, most expensive phone. You can get the cheaper one too and still get a very good performing device when it comes down to it as well. So overall, that kind of covers it up here for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.